This conference will now be recorded. Hi guys, this is Ravi and yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel Easy Way to Learn. Today in this video I am going to show you a one complete project. Okay, so basically in this uh, project I am going to show you how the bot is you know going to create vendor account uh, in a web based application okay and the bot is basically reading data from the input excel okay so i'll show you the web based application as well as the excel input data also so you can understand in more details it's all about the project okay so uh, let me tell you what are the commands i have used to complete this particular project so these are the list of commands which i have used uh, in this particular project it's like you know launch website uh, wait for screen change send email Excel commands, okay, if else, loop, variable operations, error handling, and the delay. And mostly I have used the Metabot, okay. So Metabot, like, you know, instead of using object learning, what I did, like, as I am using here web-based application, so I have decided to use the Metabot, uh, you know, within Metabot, we have the recording options. So I have used that uh, by using you know add screen and i have added uh, some uh, logic uh, within that metabot okay so uh, let me show you the code then i'll i'll explain you more about uh, the metabot okay so okay let's let's go and show you the code how it is looking like so basically this is the code okay so i'm going to explain you uh, i mean you know part by part so this code i have already developed so in, if you see here like first part what bot is going to do it will launch a particular website okay that website name is web apps okay. so let me show you that application how it is looking like okay so this is that particular website or the web applications where bot is going to fill the details so bot is going to open this particular website it will access uh, using that uh, user id and password then bot will go to this purchase section okay then it will uh, open the vendor okay it will go to vendor tab and after that what it will do it will fill the required information here I and mean, if you click on add vendor it will open a form okay so these are the vendor name email address and all which is you know vendor is uh, that bot is going to read it from this particular excel so i am having five uh, data available currently here so you can see here name email address first name last name currency and the status so basically I kept status here so like you know once first record will process or updated in that particular system so bot will mark as pass in case if it is getting fail due to some error it will update as a fail okay so to do that this status update okay I am using a error handling command which is the special features which is available in automation anywhere so let me come to my code and I explain you how it is working and uh, I mean what things I have used okay so you can see here first I am launching the website okay then I am using a metabot okay so basically I am using metabot to you know uh, logged in and put my password and click then I am using wait for a screen change command okay so once it will uh, it will uh, enter into that particular website so bot will display a message like welcome RPA developers okay then then it is performing some clicks like uh, the way I saw like it will go to purchase and click on vendor then it will click on add a vendor okay so basically instead of using delay I have used the wait command so one of the good thing for wait for screen change is like you know uh, you can put some uh, required time okay so within that if your uh, particular screen is getting changed so bot is not going, going to wait for uh, that maximum time as soon as your screen will pop up or it will come then bot will move to next step so here you can see like uh, this excel part is starting like bot is opening that particular excel i mean uh, this is that excel so bot is going to open that excel and it is reading the value from that particular excel and storing into a different variable which i have created so you can see from the variable manager i have created all the required variable here i am using the variable operations to you know uh, go to row by row okay so basically instead of using counter variable I'm using like my own defined variable so it will go row by row and it will read the data and it will fill the information so again I'm you know first I'm reading the required information from the Excel sheet and I'm filling into 
that web based application so to do that i am using metabot okay then i am using uh, some keystrokes to fill uh, the you know currency uh, it is available in my excel okay so again it's like you know full of metabot okay uh, instead of using uh, you know object learning i have used the metabot so let me explain you what is metabot you know metabots are it's very important uh, playing very important part of automation anywhere a uh, bot development so basically metabots are the automation any i mean automation building blocks and reusable component we can call metabot as a app resilience okay which means that in case if anything is changing in your application like if your application is getting update or any changes happening so you know we we uh, no need to make uh, most uh, i mean uh, i mean you know maximum changes we need to uh, do a minimum changes uh, within your meta bot or that particular bot so what it will do like uh, after making those minimum changes bot itself make the rest of the changes automatically in your process so this is the one of the good things uh, suppose uh, you know for example if anything is changing from uh, you know instead of vendor name my email address is like you know place or position is getting changed so one of the good thing for metabot is like it it will it will fill the information whatever changes is happening in your ui because at the time of creating the metabot metabot is you know it is it is reading data or it is capturing your objects okay so whatever changes is happening in your front end or the ui so metabot will keep you know it it, it will be able to uh, complete your uh, requirement okay so that is the reason instead of using object cloning if you are using object cloning or suppose uh, what happened like you know in case of vendor name your email address is coming like anything get changed so object cloning will uh, throw an error and right? your bot will fail however meta bots are you know it's like a very smart bot it is directly you know reading your value or uh, doing your activities by using the objects so in this scenario if anything is changing in this particular ui meta bot will be able to perform the required task okay now coming back to uh, my code so you can see here i am using error handling okay from here okay i mean within the loop i am putting that uh, error handling so let me show you the error handling command so you can understand so this is like begin error handling i i just want to continue in case if any error is also coming so bot can you know uh, go to excel and it will uh, feel that value as a fail okay so i am using uh, my own uh, variable like user defined variable which is the error status okay so which which is going to update the value in that particular excel so now let me come down and i show you so so here uh, my error handling is getting over okay this is the end error handling part then you can see here i have used some logic to you know update that particular excel uh, status column okay then once everything will be done i mean once your you know entire uh, record will be processed so what bot will do bot will log logged up from that particular application it will close the excel okay and it will display display a uh, you know simple message like uh, your task has been updated and email notification is sending so once this task is completed so finally bot is going to send a email notification along with the attachment of that particular excel so this is the all about like you know uh, the project which i am going to uh, so you i am going to run this project so let me uh, do uh, two things first let me save this excel i am closing this excel okay so next is i have to uh, log out from this particular uh, application so uh, once bot will uh, try to access it will not create any problem so let me log out and let me close this particular page okay so now i'm going to my automation anywhere and let me run these things okay and we will we'll follow the you know instruction or we can see how the bot is performing the things so it is going to start okay so I, i'll explain you the step by step things how the bot is working and it is uh, filling the required information so you can see here now bot is uh, logging into uh, that particular web based application by using my uh, you know user id and password it is waiting for a you know a screen to change because it is taking some time so okay once it done it will throw a message like you know welcome rpa developers you can see there so now the next is bot i mean meta bot you can see here in the bottom my runtime window 
it is a metabot is running so metabot is going to click on purchase okay then then it will click on vendor okay so now you can see that vendor uh, page got open now uh, it will click on add vendor and it will it will update data from that particular excel so it will be very fast okay and it will be 100% accurate now the bot is opening the excel you can see here first row as read by read by the bot okay now it is filling the required information in that particular page So you can see like first uh, record is completed successfully okay now bot will uh, go to second record and it will update the information in that uh, particular vendor uh, page so you can see like next record is ABC Corp okay so bot is going to fill uh, that data for uh, that particular row this you can see like how the metabot is updating the information quickly yes in case if you have any questions or any comment or any suggestion or anything you would like to know it from my end I would request you to kindly go ahead and post your a comment or you know requirement in uh, the comment section so what I can do I can work on that or in case if you think anything you know a project or any other information or any other video you would like to I mean uh, request me to uh, make uh, those type of particular video then just just post in comment section so what I can do I'll work on that and I'll create uh, uh, some videos which will be helpful for you to understand this RPA logic okay so uh, you know in this this particular project I have uh, shown you the very less details because uh, I just wanted to show you how the complete project is looking like but uh, I'll make sure next time once I create any other project I will keep all those details okay like uh, you know how I have used metabot to uh, create these things how I'm using the metabot in task bot all those details I will definitely keep So you can see like you know five records are uh, processed successfully and updated the same into uh, this particular web web based application. So now what bot is going to do it will uh, logged up from the system. So let's wait and see. So you can see like uh, it's 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 completed successfully okay now let me go to my mailbox and we'll see whether uh, we have got any email from uh, that, uh, bot or not so let me refresh my uh, email address email okay so let's see
so you can see here like just now i uh, got a mail okay so it is saying uh, vendor did data has been updated successfully so this is the attachment of that particular uh, you know excel so uh, let me uh, open that original excel uh, from the shared drive so i can so this is the excel you can see the time like uh, it's 11:26 just now it got updated so let me open uh, the excel and show you you can see here like all the record uh, has been uh, processed successfully we haven't got any error hence the status is showing as a pass okay so uh, this is like basically a small project i i just wanted to uh, make you aware uh, how the complete project is looking like so we can say like you know this is like very small very small project i have not used much uh, more things however i i have tried to use the metabot wherever i got to, you know use useful so uh, so you can see in my code like mostly i have used the metabot so let me show you how the metabot is looking like uh, when i create it so i have to go to metabot tab so let me do a double click so this is that particular metabot which i uh, created and i'm using in this particular task so let me open and i'll show you so you can see these are the assets okay so basically these are the page from where i have you know captured the value and i have added some logic so you can see here i have created different different logics uh, for login log out okay to put password user id and all those things so uh, basically uh, i mean i have used the you know add logic and record logic wherever i found as per the requirement so this is all about this particular project i hope uh, this will be a uh, uh, good for you to understand how the project is look like for the, especially for the freshers who is uh, trying to move to rpa uh, you know rpa based projects so guys in case if you have any questions any request kindly go ahead and uh, post in comment section thank you so much for uh, your time uh, thank you for watching this video have a good day